What's up guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Weekly Weird News, the weirdest show on the internet, maybe, probably You not. won't find anything weirder than our show. <laughs> I don't think not that's true possible. at all. Yeah. All right, Anyways. well, whatever, let's talk about dicks. Okay. Dicks are kind of this show's bread and butter. Uh, way back in the very first episode of Weekly Weird, ages ago, we mm -hmm. told you all about the progress happening in the world of lab-grown penises. Yeah. Uh, just last month, we told you about a young man who received a wang reduction surgery. Yeah, but science isn't done with cocks just yet. Oh, no. South African scientists recently double confirmed that a groundbreaking penis transplant surgery they performed back in December was actually a success. They have done it. They have, science has made it. It's not the first penis transplant surgery ever, okay. but it's the first time something like this has actually been a success. So was it a failure the first time around? Okay, so back in 2006, doctors in China performed a penis transplant on a 44-year-old man who lost his dick in some sort of accident. Poor guy. And uh, while the operation itself was a success, the patient and his wife decided to undo the surgery two weeks later due to the psychological trauma of the whole weird ordeal. So why double down on it? It's uh, there, it's over with. Well, anyways, anyways. Uh, this time, doctors have been given ample time to gauge their success of their operation, and now, three months later, the 21-year-old patient who lost his dick in a botched circumcision is already able to pee again, get hard again, and ejaculate again. Yeah! Yeah, this is something that scientists uh, initially thought would take two years, but he's already doing it. Where there is a will, there's a way. Yeah, yeah he's got he's, a lot I'm of will. I'm gonna get a boner, I swear to God, two months, three months, I'm gonna, tops. He's giving a dead man's penis new life, yes. and he's a hero. They're all heroes. Wow. Uh, anyway, the actual medical science behind an operation like this is pretty fucking serious business. It requires connecting a lot of tiny nerves and blood vessels in order to be successful. It's, it's, it's microsurgery. Yeah. But they learned a lot of the last few years from face transplanting science, which has, uh, there's been a lot of those in the last 10 years, and that's yeah. connected Ever a lot of Ever since the movie nerves. Face Off. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Thank uh, you, Nicolas Cage. Yeah, even with all that technical know-how, the procedure took nine straight hours to complete, Ooh. so obviously we salute these pioneers of medicine and hope that they put us at the top of the list if anything unfortunate ever happens to either of us. But then, isn't it weird, like, are you, are you like jerking off a stranger if you jerk off? I don't know. And then if you sit on your hand and then jerk off, then it's the stranger stranger. Like, I would almost like, because it's not your own dick. You shouldn't pretend it is. Like, I would almost want, like, a completely obviously different dick. Like, like a, a different race. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Different, different color than the lips, because, you know, lips are supposed to match. The drapes? Wouldn't want it to match. Who knows? Anyways, we're thinking <laughs> way too far into this. Yeah. <laughs> and while that dick-related story is groundbreaking and important and a giant leap for mankind, our next dick story is stupid and pointless, but just as admirable if it deserves your attention. Absolutely. Yeah. Aviation fanatics who happen to be browsing Flight Radar 24 last Thursday expecting to just see typical flight patterns soothingly flying around the skies. It's like watching paint dry, but the modern version. Yeah, those people were retreated to something much more interesting. Yeah. A pilot in a private plane flying near Orlando, Florida, uh -oh. drew an 18 mile long dick and balls with his flight path. He might have more time on his hands than the people just watching it. I don't know. I'm retired, I just draw dicks this <laughs> I'm gonna figure out how to draw a dick. Uh, the weirdness of Florida cannot be confined to just the ground anymore. It's airborne now! And we can only hope that this new genre of art will see even bigger and more anatomically correct dicks and balls in the future. As private pilots now try to one-up each other and see uh, who has the biggest and most beautiful dick-shaped pattern. Yeah, I mean... It's been way better than that skywriting bullshit. Yeah. People have been doing this shit with their, like, Fitbits and... Oh, yeah, yeah. Running well, that's, apps that's old news. But this is an airplane! It's yeah. amazing! And it's in Florida, so... Anyway, cool. enough about dicks. Let's talk about buttholes. Is, are you talking about the lady that poops out of her mouth again? No. Okay, good. God, no. But uh, buttholes and the fact that England is an absolute gold mine of ridiculous place names. Uh, back in 2009, the town of Conisbro, England, successfully Bro. petitioned to have the name of one of their roads changed from Butthole Road <laughs> to the much less suggestive Archer's Way after years of dealing with mostly American tourists taking pictures mooning the camera next to street signs. It was only American tourists because the people that lived there got tired of the, uh, of the uniqueness of it. Yeah, we were taking pictures in front of Butthole Road in the 80s. Yeah. Uh, over in the town of Shepshed in, what the fuck? Leicestershire? Sure. Le Lester Leicestershire. Anyways, there's a small road there <laughs> called Butthole Lane, and the residents of Butthole Lane have zero shame about their street's name. Uh, one 77-year-old resident told a local newspaper, It is part of the tradition of Shepshed. Everybody that is a Shepshedian by birth has happy memories of Butthole Lane. <laughs> it is a permanent Of fixture, course it is. I would hope for centuries to come. And anyone proposing to change it would be laughed out of court. Uh, I wish I was this 77 year old man. <laughs> it's a it's butthole lane. <laughs> it's, it's classic. I finger bang the it. chick there in 1923. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, why, why did these places have the word butthole in their name to begin with? Well, 
England is old. Uh, no one knows why, but butthole meant something else a long time ago, uh, apparently. In fact, England is full of places with ridiculous names. Yeah, names like Boobies Bay. Haha. -ha. Jackass Lane. Booby Dingle. Lord Hereford's Knob. Coxhead. Sandy Balls. Jack's Bush. Pink Wood. Cock Alley. Penis Stone. <laughs> The Dicker. And Hooker Road. And, and many, many I wonder more. what happens on Hooker Road. <laughs> uh, prostitution, I would guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and there's many more, uh, which have all apparently been available on a map that you can buy and hang on your wall called the Marvelous Map of Great British Place Names, which I kind of want to buy. Wow. It's, uh... It's like Lake Titicaca in... Uh, that's all we have! Yeah, that's we, not... A, I think it's in South or Central America. Oh, we'll uh, we'll we got, look it up after we film this and we've look got like the idiots. butt. Yeah. Mountain. Yeah. We got the butt. Butte. Butte. Anyways, we've talked about dicks and balls and buttholes and Florida already, but we haven't said one word about drugs this week. Well, over in Missouri, three <laughs> teenagers decided to burglarize some relatives and they made out pretty good with a couple hundred bucks in cash, a few thousand dollars worth of other swag and a big old bag of cocaine. Yeah. Feeling great about how successfully they just robbed a member of their own family, they decided to celebrate with a little bit of that yayo. But soon they realized that uh, they hadn't snorted coke at all. It was actually <laughs> cremated human remains of someone they knew. Yeah, it was uh, not just anyone's ashes, it was their grandfather's ashes, mm -hmm. which instead of returning once they figured out their mistake, they promptly dumped out the window of their moving car onto the highway. Here you go, Gramps! Ugh. Now, being children, they of course were idiots about the whole robbery, and they were caught soon after, and the oldest of the bunch is being tried as an adult, and now has his face all over the news stories uh, next to some very embarrassing headlines. Yeah, that's gonna be on the I internet I snorted forever. Grandpa's ashes. <laughs> and uh, the other two boys, they're younger, but they have definitely earned a place next to him as the black sheep of their family. Yeah. Uh, you can't just snort and throw away your grandfather's ashes. Uh, it's not something you can really you live can't down. can't live that down. Yeah, oh, jeez. Well, anyway, last week uh, I, I asked you guys if you what you think about just reading a few headlines that fell through the cracks that we didn't get to talk about. Are we like Jay Leno now? We're yeah. taking the spot of Jay Leno. <laughs> Look at they're crazy. <laughs> uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, yeah. Frenchman hides Russian wife in a suitcase to sneak her into Europe. Florida nightclub posing as church loses tax exempt status. <laughs> Please give this pastor $65 million so he can buy a private jet. Meth lab found inside Walmart restroom in Indiana. Well, that's not remarkable at all. That yeah, happens every week. All time. Uh, Virginia school suspends an 11-year-old for one year over a leaf that wasn't marijuana. Sure. Dad buys Tesco bananas infested with spiders whose bite can cause four-hour erections. That's when you're supposed to notify a doctor. Yeah. Man tricked X into abortion pill smoothie. Ooh. <laughs> Oof. Uh, Ikea bans hide and seek in stores. This has been a long time coming. <laughs> All right? It's, yeah. We're You're looking at a couch and a kid pops out. We're trying to shop, kid. Or a skeleton, because he, uh, he actually won. Anyways. And finally, uh, boy wakes from coma addicted to cheese and swearing. <laughs> Wait, well, he awoke swearing but addicted to cheese or addicted to cheese and addicted to swearing? I think both. Okay, fair enough. Which he, I mean, everyone likes both those things. He probably thought he could just get away with more after being in a coma. Yeah, he was like, I was in a coma, fuck you, I yeah. want some cheese. <laughs> it was a coma. <laughs> he was like that the whole time. Anyway, guys, that's our weekly weird news for this week. Be sure to check out our podcast with the lovable Steve and Larson. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. There's also Tech Tuesday up over here. And uh, I don't know, what do you want to put in the other one? Please. Uh, news. Sure, yeah, news dump. Guess, yeah. And uh, guys, we have a new episode of Tugs coming out tomorrow, and then on Friday we have our monthly social media fails. A lot more like newsy stuff than actual social media stuff, but it, tie, it all ties together. It's gonna be, be good. good. It'll be good. Lots of lots of other stuff. You guys love butts lots and of stuff. Lying. There's lots of butts and lying and racial stuff, racial stuff that shouldn't have been put on the internet, but they did it anyway. Yeah. Anyway, stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys all next right, time. Bye. Let's talk about dicks.